Welcome to this brief tutorial on licensing of the Modbus TCP blocks. Modbus TCP is an open protocol that enables communication between devices of different manufacturers. Siemens offers function blocks for the S7 300 and 400 controllers in order to enable communication with third-party devices. Depending upon the hardware deployed, the range includes products for CPs, PN CPUs, Centron PAC devices, and the redundant connection to this hardware. The function blocks are available as additional libraries and must be licensed on the controllers at runtime. Now I will show you the individual steps to licensing based on the Somatic Modbus TCP PN CPU product. For the licensing, you require your CPU, the product packaging, as well as the software registration form, which can be found on the installation CD. In our sample project, the Modbus PN instructions have already been configured. The instance data block is Modbus PN DB. We load the project in the CPU and start it. The Modbus TCP communication can also be run without a license. It is not limited by function or time. If the block is not yet licensed, this can be seen in three ways. The first sign is a blinking LED on the CPU. The second indicator is the information A090, as seen on the block output status Modbus. This status information, A090, will also be visible in the diagnostics buffer of the CPU. We now open the instance data block and change the view to the online view via the button View All. An 18-digit string is displayed in the ident code variable. Copy this string and paste it into the software registration form under ident code. Now you enter the printed license key on the product packaging under License Number. Save the document and open a support request via the link provided. In the product field, you'll now enter Modbus TCP PN CPU license and activate the field Problem with Somatic Authorization License. Enter a title, for example, Reg Key Request. Entries in the Urgency field are not relevant for licensing, but the required fields do have to be filled out. Add the saved software registration form as an attachment. Mark the email contact and send off the support request. Shortly thereafter, you will receive an email with a generated reg key. Now open the license data block in your user project. Copy the transmitted reg key into the starting value of the string variable. Save the data block and load it into the CPU. Now the Modbus TCP block is licensed on the CPU. The LED on the CPU is no longer blinking. The block output no longer indicates A090. And there are no longer any entries in the diagnostics buffer. As you can see, it is not necessary to reboot the CPU. The license is recognized during runtime. The license is directly coupled to the CPU and could not be transferred to another CPU. However, it is possible to exchange the memory card without any additional licensing procedure. More information about Modbus TCP is available at our website.